harvesting minerals so we can have uh, more minerals coming in so we can lay down that fourth hatchery which uh, I think I should have done in this game but uh, wasn't uh, really detrimental anyway so uh, okay uh, here comes um, the hydralisks and uh, probably this this build is pretty weak when the opponent builds uh, a few more gateways to address this early uh, uh, harassment here and uh, probably six or eight zealots would uh, uh, break this uh, uh, forward uh, positioning and uh, it's really possible to uh, to uh, if if your opponent uh, chooses to uh, dedicate their their build into this uh, uh, the usual macro game uh, you can really uh, uh, break this uh, expansion here if you have the the right uh, positioning of units and as you can see if this uh, if this cannon was placed here I would have a hard time attacking this uh, 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 simulator and, and and push him back as, as what happens here he, he he was forced to build another another uh, codon cannon but uh, I don't really think that was any uh, consequence if it was uh, positioned better uh, at, at this position because uh, as you can see my goal is is, is to produce that uh, enough hydralisks to 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 destroy uh, stuff like uh, uh, photon cannons that are usually what you'd find in in, in games against Prodas since uh, they their uh, their basic goal is to, to expand fast and uh, utilize a, a kind of a block that would uh, uh, really push uh, really uh, make your units kind of weak but uh, at this, at this uh, game uh, as we can see it's really open up it's really very open and I could just uh, push my hydrolysis there and force uh, this player to react uh, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, and uh, at this point I was able to destroy this nexus, and that was really a good thing since uh, that was the goal. The primary objective Zerg here was to uh, uh, take this position first, as they uh, uh, they have the, the earlier units. And since the Protoss decided to to go defensive and uh, uh, build for a massive uh, uh, a deadly counterattack. Uh, 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 the Zerg was able to uh, uh, send his forces uh, earlier into the into the middle of the map and and just uh, rally to to his expansion here. And uh, also, uh, I'd like to uh, for you to take note how uh, why I uh, these overlords are here. Uh, these are very important since um, I've been in a lot of games where. The Protoss decides to counter with the Dark Templar uh, defense, defense, and uh, that really messes up your your forward push like this, and uh, forcing you to to pull back. And, and once his uh, reverse come out or uh, uh, corsairs, and after like uh, a minute or so, uh, you'll be bottled up in your base, and, and that's really bad since. Uh, it, uh, right after that, you can expect a large glob of blob of units uh, attacking your base. And if you're playing Zerg, you don't want to be bottled up. You want you want to be the one who's controlling the area while the the Protoss uh, defends their base and uh, utilize maximize their uh, uh, their their push. Uh, their I don't know how this is called. I think they call that uh, a breakout or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, we can see that uh, I, I'm shifting gears here to to mutalisks, and uh, the the real purpose for that is to really keep on uh, attacking or challenging his economic strength. And uh, I believe because of uh, th this build, uh, this Protoss build like this, it's really geared towards uh, a late uh, middle game. Uh, uh, battle and uh, I don't want the the game to proceed to that and I want to take control of the early game and and really keep the 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 products here 
battling against my forces uh, with early game units and I didn't want the game to proceed to middle game where uh, uh, the Protoss could just amass a lot of units from uh, a number of gateways that uh, uh, will be spawned here later. We can see that he, he would still try to do that uh, here but uh, uh, he would have failed uh, at that point since uh, he's been pushed back so bad at this point that uh, uh, even those reverse w uh, w w will not uh, be able to be uh, are not enough to defend this base and uh, when facing against reverse at this point um, a really good thing to remember is uh, reverse have this low reload rate and uh, uh, what uh, since your units are up front, every reaver that comes out here has to reload, has to has to uh, build those uh, scarabs. And uh, when you spread out your units, uh, especially hydralisks are a very good counter against uh, 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 this uh, few number of uh, reavers. What, uh, the the idea is to spread our units so that uh, uh, their scarabs will, will just destroy one unit at a time and uh, while the, the Hydralisks with range upgrade will be able to uh, uh, destroy those rivers quite quickly and uh, so yeah here we go uh, our Mutalisks are ready and uh, they're going to be coming in from this uh, direction to attack this very open uh, space since uh, the opponent